Hi, my name is Meekert Fletcher. I'm the author of Discover Mindful Eating, and today in this episode, we're going to talk about hunger and fullness. I'm going to use two of my friends, including Frog. Frog is going to represent hunger, and over here, Bear is going to represent fullness. Now, in Discover Mindful Eating for Kids, we have two scales that help us represent that. The first one is what we call uh, hunger peas and a fullness pod. The hunger peas are cute little peas that jump once we start eating into the fullness pod, and they help kids understand this concept that as you start eating, hunger will decrease. And as hunger decreases, fullness is increasing. If you wanted to use some cuddly friends, this might be how you introduce it. You might assign one of these cuddly friends to be hunger, which I've done with frog, and one might be fullness, which I've done with bear. So bear and frog, take it away. Hey, have you ever noticed that when you eat, your hunger starts disappearing the moment you take a bite? Really? Really? It's true, because hunger starts going away as you start eating. That's kind of cool. It really is. So bear, pretend that you are fullness and I'll be hunger. You ready? As I start eating, my hunger may be really, really big, like, like stretching out my arms as big as it can be. It might be a 10. But as I keep eating, it's going to get smaller until eventually I'm not going to be hungry anymore. Oh, do you stop eating then? No, no bear, because you're not full yet. What we want to do is we want to get to a comfortable level of fullness. Oh, I like being comfortably full, but not too full. No, I don't want to be too full. Excellent. So how would you know when you're too full? Well, you have to pay attention, Barry. You'd have to check in and pause. Once you realize you're not hungry, you're shifting your intention. You're not eating to not be hungry. You're eating to find a comfortable level of fullness. Oh, so when you're done eating, you're comfortable? Exactly, Bear. Great job. Woo, good work, Bear. Yay. So that might be one way you can introduce the topic of hunger and fullness. These uh, handouts are available on Discover Mindful Eating for Kids, and I hope you can check them out.